Welcome to Write Data's video series on getting started with Write Data. In this video, we will provide an end to end overview of Write Data and its core capabilities for non administrator Write Data users. Let's get started. Write Data is a web based tool. It can be installed on premise or on a private cloud of your organization. Write Data's core capabilities are categorized into four parts analysis and understanding of the data using Query Studio data integration, test automation scenarios management using Scenario Studio, automate and schedule the scenarios using Batch Console, finally, report and visualize the results using reporting. Let's now log into Write Data. In order to log in, open your favorite web browser and enter the Write Data URL and log in using the credentials provided by your administrator. You can see Write Data has multiple sections, cockpit, this is the landing page for Write Data. Admin Console. This is where all Write Data administrator activities can be performed, like the creation of users, user groups, connection profiles, etc. Query Studio. Scenario Studio. Batch Console and Reporting. We will discuss these items in the remaining part of this video. The last section is IMDB. This stands for Incident Management Digital Board. This is a Kanban style incident management and data defect tracking tool that comes with Write Data. Let's take a look at Query Studio. The default landing page for Query Studio is the Explorer, where all Write Data content is organized into folders. The folder structure in Write Data can be used for organizing and securing content. The folders can be created, moved, and deleted within Explorer. Let's create a sample folder. There are two views available for Explore. One is Tile View, where folders appear in the form of tiles, and the second is List View, where folders are displayed in Tabular View. There are two types of objects that can be created in Query Studio. One is Query. You can create a query using Query Builder. Query Builder provides a unified way of querying data regardless of the type of data source. From one single interface, you can connect to all Write Data supported data sources and perform ad hoc querying and save queries for reusability. The second is Query Chain. Query chains are used to perform the data preparation activities leading up to the validation and testing. Query chains are also used for taking a snapshot of source data for the purpose of validation and for data profiling to better understand the data by collecting profiling statistics. Let's see how to use Query Builder. Click on Create New Query. And select the existing connection profile, MS SQL Northwind. For the RD, BMS, and file data sources, you have two ways to create queries. One is custom SQL query, and second is visual query, aka write query. If you know the native SQL syntax, you can use the custom SQL query option. You can use write query when you want write data to write SQL for you based on your field selection. We are now connected to SQL Server Northwind database. Before I start writing the SQL, I want to refer to the metadata of the database. In order to explore the metadata of the selected data source, click on Navigator. The contents in the Navigator allow you to explore metadata. In this case, MS SQL Northwind database. Using Navigator, you can search the tables views, expand further to see the columns and the data types. Let's write a SQL query. Once you write the SQL on the SQL editor, you can check the syntax, pretty print the SQL, and execute to see a preview of the data. You can save the query for reusability. Let's go back to Explore and see different ways to locate the query that was created. Once the query is located, you can click on the query to edit and execute. You can also make a copy of the query with a different name as well as switch the profile to point the query to a different connection profile.
Let's look at an example to query a local CSV file. Click on New Query icon from the Query Explorer toolbar from the Profile dropdown. Choose CSV. Click on Connect a New button. Switch from Remote to Local. Click on Choose a CSV slash text file button. This will open your computer file browser. Select the file you want to use as a data source for your query. In this case, I'm going to choose credit underscore tran .csv. After selecting the file, you will see a form with a list of CSV configuration parameters. Click on the Preview Data and Confirm Metadata button. If the preview and predicted data types of the columns look good, click on Save and Connect. Now that you have connected the local file as a data source, you can start writing SQL query on the CSV. You will see the file metadata in the navigator. Simply drag and drop the file to the query editor. Write data uses MySQL syntax to query the files. Once the query is edited, click on Execute to see the preview. Save the query under the desired folder. I am saving the query x-csv credit trans query, which will be used in the subsequent part of this video series.